Well, good morning. Thank you very much for being here today. Uh, I just want to welcome you to our award ceremony for our campaign that's called Will You Buckle Up For Me? It's a part of a larger campaign that we've done in the city to increase awareness about seatbelt use in the city. About 80 or 85 percent of people wear their seatbelts all the time, but there's a, a number of people that don't yet wear seatbelts all the time. So we're trying to promote that, and uh, you're a big part of that campaign today. Um, the kids that are here that participated, we've got kids that won third and fourth and second and first place and all that kind of stuff, but we, th we think all these kids are winners for the work that they did and also uh, for the fact that they are already understand that how important it is to wear a seatbelt. Um, I do want to say a special thank you to the judges for the contest. Uh, our judges for the artwork, this great artwork, were Director Ernest Rouse from General Services, Robert Patrick from, uh, from Local 500 and Aviation, Ellen Belzer from General Services, Gene Homer from the Fire Department, and Rusty Williams from Finance. So if you'll uh, join me in giving them a hand for their help. We're honored today to have the city manager here to uh, share a few words with us, and so I'm going to introduce Troy Schulte and take, send it to him. Eric, thank you. This is a, another example of how we uh, can use the 4,000 men and women uh, of, of the city of Kansas City, one of the largest employers in the region, to uh, use us as an example to lead the rest of the region forward. And so I want to thank Eric and the uh, General Services Department and, the, and specifically the, uh, the Worker Safety Division of the General Services Department on their efforts. So uh, I've never had quite a stylish looking seatbelt before, so I'm, I'm going to enjoy this one. Um, we wanted to just kind of use this opportunity as a way to raise awareness about the importance of seatbelt usage. We encourage it, we require it as part of our uh, as daily operations here at City Hall uh, and city government, and we're trying to expand the use uh, across the uh, city as a whole. So uh, over the last several years, seatbelt use has been increasing in the U.S. and in Missouri. That's good to hear, but we are not yet at 100 percent. We want to encourage all Kansas Cityans and all of our city employees to make it safely home to their families every day. And it was brought to us, brought home to us just how important that is. We cannot, in the line of work that uh, city employees do, we cannot take for granted that we will be home every day to see our employees. So it's, this is one, uh, see our families. So this is one way that I think we can take the step to make sure that we safely return home every night after uh, working for the city and, and, and doing our, doing our part to make the city a better place to, to live and play. Um, but, so we have a couple of points we'd like to bring up. Buckle up. Every time you get in a vehicle is the easiest way to do it. Do it the first thing. It spares you and your family the physical, emotional, and financial burden of an accident and, it all, and allows all of us to lead by example so that the children in our lives will know the, the value of wearing a seatbelt. Uh, we're also here today to show off some of the great work, artwork done by the kids of city employees. And I can tell you that they have long surpassed the ability of the city manager in terms of his artistic quality. Every one of these at their late, I could not compete. So uh, that tells us that I think the, the future is much, much uh, brighter because of the talent we're displaying here today. And we'll keep these uh, display boards up in the in the rotunda for a while so that as people come in uh, for meetings and to take care of city business they see this and are reminded of the good work that our folks are doing and that, at the, that the, the quality of the effort put in by our the children and grandchildren of our employees. So uh, the posters you see on display are our corporate safety divisions will you buckle up for me uh, safety poster contest. The poster contest is one of several components of our corporate safety campaign for 100% uh, seatbelt use. Uh, the campaign also included a story, a video called Becca's Story, which airs on Channel 2, and a signature campaign, and I think we see that around here and around other city facilities, where city employees were urged to sign a poster to pledge their support for 100% seatbelt use. I want to give a big thank you to all of the kids who did such a beautiful job illustrating the importance of everyone buckling up every time. And I want to also thank, uh, give a big thank you to the parents and the grandparents. 
many of which are here, who came out today, to the team of folks who worked on the campaign, and to all of you who came out today to be part of this important effort to raise awareness. This is how we uh, spread the message. So thank you for your work. And I think now we've got the important job of handing out some awards, and then I think there's cake. So this is a good day all around. So uh, Eric, you want to take it away and get the team together, and let's start handing out some awards. Sure, thank you. Thank you, Troy. Let's get to the good stuff now. We're going to announce the winners for the different categories, starting with the age 5, 6 category. Our second place winner is Elizabeth Phillips. Is Elizabeth here? Yeah. Our first place winner is Lainey Arneal. I think, is Porter here? Porter Arneal? Accepting for Lainey is Porter Arneal. He's at great grandma's 97th birthday. Uh. <laughs> Porter is going into first grade. Lainey. <laughs> Lainey is at her great grandmother's 97th birthday today in St. Louis. All right. <laughs> Category ages seven and eight. We have an honorable mention for Kayla Wright. Is Kayla here? Thank you, Kayla. Our third place winner is Jada Roach, and her grandmother, Sarah Simmons, is gonna come up and get the award for Jada. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. Thank you. Our second place winner in uh, seven and eight category is Layla Moore. Layla. Thank you, Layla. Good job. Category for ages seven and eight, our first place winner is Haley Black. Is Haley here? All right. And this is Krista Tyler. We move on to ages nine and 10. We have a first place winner in category for age nine and 10, and it's Mikeisha Harris. Second place, Michelle Harris. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Category uh, ages 11 and 12. First place winner is Kristen Clevenger. Our 
last category, ages 13 and 14, we have a first place winner, Bria Elmer. Um, some girls here who did some artwork that we used to advertise the campaign. One of them is Kristen's daughter, so we really didn't think that Amelia should win a prize, but we want to recognize her and her friend Jillian Reed, who both did great work for us. So, Amelia and Jillian, could you come up, please? No, she does not get a medal. We're going to have cake pretty soon here. I just want to tell you guys that the champion for this whole project was Assistant Corporate Safety Manager Kristen Danner. Without her, this we wouldn't be here right now. Some, some, some quick special thanks to the uh, City Communications team for all their help in the videos and photos and advertising and fountain pen articles and everything. Um, special thanks also to General Services Department, the folks that set up the room for us today, fantastic job. Thank you very much, let's have some cake.